just ping the uh, alrighty. And we are now live and hello everybody welcome back to another Osu Moti mode match we have here today it is now 17 UTC so we will be seeing some winners bracket action so this will be the second winners bracket match that we have here um Today, as three hours ago, we have seen Dai Cho taking on Finger the Rusting Company that was being streamed live on this channel, and it was a really, really close battle, which ultimately resulted in Team Dai Cho taking the win in the Osu Taiko tiebreaker. Yes, yeah, so. Now we're going to see our second winner's bracket match between Osu no Tatsuji and taking on Suprema Torte de Justicia. Refereeing this match will be Chimchar. Streaming this match will be the host again, Sangan Shoku. I am Pork is Great. Uh, I am Pork is Great uh, here to uh, commentate on this um, uh, really what well, could be. A really, really exciting match. So, this is the winner's semifinals. So, the winner of this match will guarantee to finish to put themselves on the podium in this inaugural, um, in this inaugural tournament. But whoever loses will have to unfortunately be moved down to the losers bracket where they're gonna have to play two matches next week if they want to if a team really wants to get on to that final podium spot yes so um yeah so this is going to be a pretty interesting match um we're just um we are currently in the uh Protects him. Uh, we are currently in the uh, rolls and bands right now. Um, so, so the Suprema Corte de Justicia have decided to ban um, standard double time. That's interesting to see here so yeah so it looks like suprema de corte de justicia had the uh had won the uh rules so they were able to ban first um now in depth zone the captain will be banning um mania sv now I don't blame that is a pretty hard pick that as this test solely on memory or our SP memory on the uh, notes. So now with that we're gonna go to our second band. So so far we have standard dull time. We also have Mania SV being banned so we're just waiting to see what which map will Suprema Corte de Justicia will be banning next I really do like the name uh, Suprema Corte de Justicia I think it's a very very unique name and Suprema Corte de Justicia means the Supreme Court of Justice in Spanish so yeah and they're gonna go with the uh, Taiko um, Hidden Taiko Hidden yes 
so Tycho Hidden will be banned now. So, um, now we're going to see the uh, final ban for um, Team Osuno Tatsujin. So far, three out of four modes, at least one map from a map pool have been banned. And well, now with that, it'll be it. So now, because of that, um, we're gonna go with Mania Rice right now. So, so we're gonna go with Mania Rice. This is. It's a DJ Sharp no song, Kaze no Naka no Subaru. Now, this is one of the longest um, maps in um, in this uh, Mania map pool. It's about three minutes and forty-four seconds long. This map, um, of course, when you think of DJ Sharp no, you're most likely going to be thinking of mostly jump streams and. And uh, you're thinking of jump streams and hand streams, and there's a lot of stamina being involved. So a very, very bold um pick, as this is really going to be testing out their endurance. And yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting to see how um. These two, these four players will do. So in for Osuno Tatsu game will be Plutes and Savory K, and in for Supremo Cortez de Justicia, you have Judish. No, wait, no, teams are opposite. Teams are opposite. So I mean, Osuno Tatsu and Deathstone's the captain. So in for that team is Judiciousity and Deathstone. I know I butchered that name. And in for Supremo Corte de Justicia, you have Plutes and Zavri K. Just a minor issue, but it should. But no worries. I've I've seen I've seen worse from this, so it's not all too bad. So yeah, we are waiting until and oh. Okay, so teams have been swapped back to their correct places. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so they're switching. Yeah. Okay, so they're just trying to get this issue being fixed, but until then, that's we should be able to get started pretty soon. Um, we should be we should be closer to getting this uh, first uh, round of this match underway here. So whoever wins this match will be going will be moving on to the. Winner's finals match taking on Dai Cho and the winner of that winner's finals match will be guaranteed to move on to the uh, winner's bracket guaranteeing themselves to finish second place regardless of how well that final grand finals match in the uh, winner's bracket goes here we have um, we're going the match is underway right now um, and oh Okay then, I mean, I'm seeing two, I'm seeing, um, two split screens, so I can't really tell how is, um, Judiciousity is doing. So, I'm going to try my best to decipher or to predict how is Judiciousity is doing, but so far, um, Team Supremo de 
Suprema Corte de Justicia is doing um, pretty good right now. Ac accuracy with the uh, accuracy lead right there. Oh, Savory K with the break, however. Now, this is a small issue to see that uh, Death Zone did start off in the uh, 98%, but now has um, gone back up to um, 99 or is trying to get back to the 99% uh, marks. Just been struggling with consistency. I think it's just stamina is just getting into Death Zone right now, but despite this, now they're taking the lead. I would think that judicious, judicious, I cannot even spell. I'm just going to say Ju Judy for the just because his username is a um, mouthful. Judy is doing um really good right now, but oh another miss from uh Devsome, but now that's just going to give the uh, lead right back to um uh, the Supreme Court of Justice in English. So that's going to be interesting to see how these players will do in the um, in the second half of the match right here. Um, Plutz is holding FC right here. I don't know how Judy is doing, but I would like to think uh, he's holding an FC as well. Savory K with another break right there. So, but Savory K has been pretty consistent so far, so not an issue right here. Uh, meanwhile, you do see Dev Zone almost at the uh, 90, almost near the uh, end of that 98% accuracy mark, and now his ac is just dropping now. We are near the end of the song right here, almost near the end of the song right here. Um, Plutz is just holding the FC right here, nine, with the 99.85 act right here. I think that's just going to be the difference maker as to how Suprema Corte de Justicia will do. And we're just about to be near with the end. We're just probably around a couple more seconds to go. It did start off a bit rocky. But, and, um... Yeah, that'll be it. It did start off a bit rocky for Suprema Corte de Justicia as, um... Also, no, Tatsujin took the lead in the middle of the match, but they were able to capitalize it at the end now the bots chat is not working so i can't tell on um how did um judy do in this uh case i don't know like what are judy's stats in terms of whether uh, judy played better than devson or whether or not um Death Zone play better, but regardless, this is a first break point that we're seeing here for Team Suprema Corte de Justicia. Okay, so Judy scored 99.95.9. That's a pretty good score, according to the referee, Chimchar. So thank you, Chimchar. Yeah, um. That was not, that's not a bad score from Judy, although it was like 3,000 points, it was like, what, 3,000 points, um, behind, um, it was 3,000 points behind the, uh, leader, which was Plutz, Plutz played in that, Plutz played absolutely well. So now, they're going with Catch No Mod. Dark Flight Dreamer. I've seen this um, map being played before um, yesterday, so 
this is going to be pretty interesting to see how well this match will go. So, yes, yeah, so. Alrighty, so Zaver, so since this is a catch, players will be switching. Um, Atoll's fanboy will be uh, coming right in for Plutes. Atoll's fanboy from Belgium will be coming in for Plutes, and meanwhile, Arwab will be coming in for Judy. For Team Osuno Tatsujin. We're seeing the, ca the caliber of high level um, playing being showcased here in this um, in this uh, match right here as we are seeing um, now ca players who are very good at catch coming in and now this is first to six so I know Death Zone is a pretty good um, catch player. I know him as this uh, catch uh, main who's also very good at Mania, which really showcased on that match. Although if he had been a bit more consistent, maybe Osuno Tatsujin would have won their first pick. But yeah, now it has gone into that situation. And Arwab is here on the screen, so hopefully we will be seeing, um, hopefully we will be able to show you guys all four players that are on the screen right here. So, um, yes, so we're just still waiting on players to get ready and hopefully there are referee Chimchar will be able to start now with the uh, good luck have fun we are able to get started shortly and here we are so here we go another um, another match of catching um red that what the skin looks like to be circles. A break from Zavari came to begin things off right here. And another break from Dev Stone as well. This is now they're just been trading breaks, but Dev Stone having that bit of a high combo, but so far, but Zavari K with the earlier missile, if he can able to continue to build No! Another break from Zavari K as well. Dev Sub was able to hit that uh that uh, note section right there. Because of that, Dev Sub will be able to help Osuno Tatsujin retake the lead. Arwab and Atos Fanboy are both holding um, FCs right now. And Yes, yeah, so we are seeing Death Sub providing uh, that uh, supporting combo right here. Zavari K just like struggled. They had the opportunity and then another break from Zavari K. They had that opportunity to uh, like take that lead right there, but Zavari K, oh my goodness, that's it. This is not looking good. And so far, all Toes Fanboy with the 100% uh, accuracy right there, which is uh, really, really impressive to say the least. And Arwa, but Arwa is not too far behind as um, both Arwa and Benzon are just playing very, very well right here. This might be that break point that Team Osuno Tatsujin really needed if they want to, uh... If they want to be get back into this batch. And another break from Zavari K. Zavari K is just struggling right here. 
I think once um, after that first break, Death Sun just really got it together and was in so far as providing a really huge combo as now they have like over a hundred thousand points lead and will only continue to extend because of another Safari and well now another break. Arwab just breaks as well but I really doubt like this weird world almost near the end of the song right here and unless <laughs> unless that song could break right here I don't think it's not going to be enough and that will do it so Osuno Tatsujin with the uh, another breakpoint so now it's going to be 1-1 one, one apiece now So yeah, ninety nine point ninety five percent accuracy by um autos and that's uh, with a pretty nice score to rebound. Uh, also uh ninety uh nine point eighty nine, not too far behind from autos fanboy. That's what I mean when I say that he is a catch made, uh, who's also very good at media. So, alrighty, so now because of that, this oh, so wait, I think I got it all messed up. Wait, is it me or did I got it all messed up that, um. Um, let's, so, let's see here, so, now we have, oh my gosh, can I even get to the, uh, so, now we're on to catch the, catch the beat double time, so, So and this was Osuno Tatsujin's uh, pick as well. So now um, we're just going to be uh, seeing uh, another catch the beat match right here here as um now we're all four players are coming back in um so we're just going to be seeing how well how well these players will do in this um double time map um zavary k also a pretty talented hatch player, but who's also an Osu Taiko. But it's an Osu Taiko main. He and Savory K is ranked number four in um, Mexico. Um, wait, wait, match started. Yeah, yeah, panic button, please. Um, yep. So. Apparently the match has actually gone underway. So um we're we need to um press panic. Yep, so we will be while we will be uh fixing that uh situation right here so the winner of the uh, match 55 will go on to face Daicho but the loser of that match will be going on to face 
blue team blue in the uh, losers finals B team blue just um recently um defeat um team Kuroinu um two so blue beat uh Kuroinu two six to four um so yeah um Click the circles. Yes, yeah, so um this is a bad trope problem. So um and oh there we go. Now we're back in and well while at the same time match has been finished. Um, so yeah, so also no Tatsuji and will take their second catch, uh, pick. Um, both players have, both players on the also no Tatsuji is doing really well. And now, oh my, issues all around here. I'm seeing two dev, dev zones on my, on the, uh, stream right here. Uh... And but yes, yeah, so yeah, so also no talk to Jim with the uh, with the uh, second straight um, also no talk to Jim with the uh, second straight um, catch pick win right here. So, um now we're going to be seeing uh, Suprema Cortege Justicia uh, picking next. So now we're going to see uh, which map will Suprema Cortege Justicia or Supreme Court of Justice will be choosing next. They are now down two to one, but so far a standard map or a Tycho map have been touched so far. Um. So I mean, I don't know what's going on with the uh, in-game chat. So, oh, okay. So they're going with standard hard rock. Yes, so they're going with uh, standard hard rock right here. So this is standard hard rock. It is Odegavi. It's a really short map of the uh, the standard map pool here in the uh, semifinals. So um, this map pool is only one minute and forty seven seconds long. And it's like I said, it's one of the shortest, so you're not so you're not going to expect to see like a million score, at least from what I've seen so far from the match between the uh, Kuroidu two when they took on I thought I quit this mode. Yeah. So. So, alrighty, so we're going to see Devson staying in for another, um, Devson staying in for another, uh, map, uh, three different maps so far. But meanwhile, we will see num 5119 coming in for, um, Team Osuno Tatsujin, one of the uh, really top, one of the uh, talented players for Osu Standard, a street digit player, ranked six, ranked top six hundred and ranked one hundred eleven in the United States. Meanwhile, for Supreme Court Justicia, you also see Xavier K coming back in, but in for um. Uh, 
and for Supremo Corte de Justicia will be Pandice. So yeah. So getting things out the way here. Pandice with an early break right here. Not a good match. And oh, oh, oh my goodness! All four players had just broke combo, but also Savory K as well. Zavri K with another break. Num 5119 with another break. That's some with another break right there. Despite with all the breaks I'm just seeing right here, um, so far Team Supreme Corte de Justicia is leading right here. Um, thanks to Pundice. Although despite that all four players um, having such uh, bad starts, now Pundice breaks. I was going to say that Pundice just held it together, but now struggles again, but now that lead is going to be shrinking now. It's, and if Nub5119 is able to keep this up, um, then it might look like that it's just a matter of time before Osuno Tatsuji will uh, be able to take that lead back. Savory K this is not the ideal miss you want from Team Supreme Kredenta just to see it right here. And another break from Team uh, for uh, 5119, Dub 5119. This is just going to give that lead back to Suprema Cortez and Justicia. We're now... This is really quick and we're almost near the end of the map right here. Dev Zone with another miss. And... That slider right there. And another break from F Num5119. That will do it. So, Suprema Contender Justicia will able to take back a point. So now it is now 2 2 a piece now. So, wow. Interesting to see um, Osuno Tatsujin and Suprema Contender Justicia. So far, Osuno Tatsujin have been winning on catch beat maps only, but they're gonna have to find a way to make to win a another uh, map that is not catch because again there are only four maps from each mode that you have to at least need to win a variety of maps from different game modes and okay so that sounds already going straight into um, standard um, hidden So, yes, so this is a uh, squad at rice. So, squad at rice is another short map. It's uh, two minutes and nine seconds long. So, this is going to really test on um, your stream. Uh, it's really going to be test on your uh, reading on streams. While the last one, Onigami, is more so based on. Precision. This is going to test on your not only your reading ability on notes disappearing, but also testing on um, your how good you are streams. I think that this is a map that um, Death Zone is feeling really confident in um do in this um map, but. Okay, um, Pundice with the, uh, with the, uh, emergency restroom break, or that timeout there, so, um, so, yeah, so, we're going to be seeing, um, all four players back in, so, Alrighty, um... Alrighty, up, oh, okay, um... Yeah, so... 
Alrighty, so to ask everyone, how is everybody doing on this uh, fine day here today? It is currently 9.37 in the morning. I've woke up 10 minutes before um, this match started, so um, yeah, it's been a interesting day so far already. And I think after this match ends, I think I will go back to sleep. And okay. So... Pondice is now back. So I don't know, so I don't have to talk towards myself now. So, um, now, um, that's going to be it, so we're going to now hopefully get this match now, get started right here, Squirt at Rice Standard Hidden, now we have this, uh, we're going to start things off with a spinner, so here we go, so far, um, Teams Prima Corte did just to see a with the uh, early lead due to Devso's accuracy is just drop just dropped in the uh, start of this match. So how uh, will these two teams will do that I don't know, but so far because of that accuracy uh uh, gap right there, and well, regardless of that, Devzone with two breaks so far right now, not a good start for, um, Team Supremo Contender Justice, uh, no, not a good start for Team, also no Tatsujin, uh, breaks all around for Devzone right here. So now, well, that lead is pretty big right there, and so far, five so far. Um, both players from Team Supremo Corteta Justicia with the uh, FCs, and on the okay breaks now all around. This is but despite those breaks, this is not really going to do anything to hurt of um, Supremo Corteta Justicia's lead, but. There's not much time left, so there- And oh my gosh, Devzo just like completely missing that one stream section right there. It is a struggle to see uh, Devzo um, with this uh, map. I don't know um, what's happening, and now just um, I'm just seeing like Devzo like with all these um, X's and this um, jumps and that jump section right there. And that will be it. So, yeah, what a, a pretty comfortable win for Team Suprema Cortina Justicia. As um, now it's going to be Dree to uh, Suprema Cortina Justicia. Yeah, that, yeah, um, that episode completely um, collapsed there at the end. And Zavri K kind of almost did too, but was able to rebound. So, because of that now, uh, I believe that was another break point. So now, because of that, Suprema Cortenta Justicia is in a really... Um, comfortable place right now with um so yes yeah, so supreme court of justice will be able to choose next and zavri k will be going with mania long notes 
Alrighty, media logged on. Kurage by Redacted. Now, this is a density uh, log note uh, map. Alrighty, so because of this, uh, Plutes will be coming back in and Ju Judy, I'm not going to say his, uh, I'm not going to say Judy's full name because I've been struggling to uh, properly pronounce his name. So Judy will be coming back in from Timos no Tatsujin. This will be the rematch of the first uh, Mania pick, and so far a Taiko pick have been untouched. So that's something that I want to keep you guys. Know, I want to keep this in mind that so far a Taiko pick have it hasn't been uh, picked so far, which is um, which is which is really the irony because there's. There's also no Tatsujin, and there's also Taiko no Tatsujin. And so far, the nah, Taiko map has been picked. The irony that, that I'm just seeing from this match so far. Alrighty. So... Yep, so this is a long enough match. And, um, this is a 1.3 speed, and, yep, here we go. So, this is at 1.3 speed, like I just mentioned, so, no, it's will be coming out a lot faster for this one. So, the leads are being flickered by a bit there at the start, but... Suprema Kurtenda the Sistina was able to hold it off. And a break. And another break from Death Sun. Oh my. Death Sun just has been playing in all matches so far. Like, I'm surprised that he is still here. But I so saw probably half of his fingers so far are probably just struggling so far. Or just like lacking from stamina, but I mean. I don't know if Stepson is is still feeling good enough to perform so far, but other than that, uh, Stepson's just been struggling. That, that because of that, uh, Suprema Cortenda Justicia is just capitalizing on um, Stepson's mistakes. And while we did see a break earlier by Zavari K, they are holding a huge accuracy and lead because of dev zone and another break from dev zone that is unfortunately going to put him down into the uh, 94 percent right here and so and an another act drop and another break from uh dev zone and more breaks from Death Zone. And a, oh my goodness, I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to keep saying breaks from Death Zone. Um, so, so, so yeah, we're seeing a pretty big lead for Team Supremo Contenta Justicia of Ju Judy and Plus are holding FCs right here. Um, Death Zone is just struggling to, um, try not to, uh, go down to 93% and well that will do it Suprema Contenda Justicia with the uh a pretty comfortable win and now it's 4-2 of Supreme Court of Justice wow that's that's uh really really uh that's just I gotta feel bad for Devstone more specifically. I mean Devstone's just been playing in all six matches so far. It hasn't even gotten one break. I mean you can technically say that he got his break from that um Pandice's um uh, restroom break. But um 
yeah, so now this is um, Osuno Tatsujin's uh, pick right here. Um, they're gonna have to go with. Um, they're, now they really need to decide what map they want to do. I think, I mean, so far we haven't seen Taiko being touched. So it, it kind of looks like it, they're gonna. I want to see how Taiko match would be play out. But nope, instead we're going with Catch the Bean Hidden. So the world revolving by Toby Fox. Delta Rune. So Catch the Bean Hidden. I believe this is what the uh, shor the shortest of uh, this is the uh, short this is the short song and the uh, catch map pool. It's only one minute forty one seconds long. So yeah, I mean, I think the strategy, at least for Osuno Tatsujin, is that I'm just saying that, um, I'm just seeing Tat Osuno Tatsujin is just. Slowly going to probably going to be picking only uh, catch the beat um maps. Wow, so Pepper Contains are just this is they're just doing really well on standard and uh mania. But again, like I said, Tycho has not hadn't been touched yet, but But then again, you're also seeing one of the guys who are who is a Taiko man in the uh, lobby right now, which is um, Zavary K. So I I don't blame them. I don't blame Osuno Tatsujin if they want to just if they don't want to do um. If they don't want to do Taiko probably because unless if they unless if they have their other uh, Taiko maids there, but I, I'm not I, I haven't really checked on like if let's know Tatsujin have like any other um, Taiko players online or Taiko if there's anyone on that team that are very good at uh, Taiko. So um. Interesting, yeah, so it's interesting to see, um, no Taiko maps despite that the uh Osuno Tatsujin have like a 1550, like the 1.5k uh average rank in this uh tournament for these uh four players, so and all four members of, of them are online as well. A break from a dev zone that now here as every K breaks, but as well as dev zone, this is um, not looking really good. But as every K also breaks, this is pro this is going to give the lead right back into um, Osuno Tatsujin's hands. The last thing that they don't want is to lose a catch. Pick because Zavri K can prove is proven to be a pretty good catch player who can hold his own, who can hold on to his own. But so far, Devso is just is just holding combo right here. Unless Arwab breaks, I don't think it's gonna happen. So and oh, both both breaks from. Both players at the same time. And but another break. And another break from Death Zone. Death Zone is not playing very, very well right now. I don't know what's going on, but despite this, um Despite this, listen no Tatsujin will take the win right here. Now it's three to four now, but Suprema Corteta Justicia is having their uh next pick. Seven straight maps being played for Dev Zone so far in this match. And oh my gosh, Arwab and Arto's fanboy just score had the same score as well. Not if I need to mention that. 
If this were to be a 1v1, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't know why are the rules of like ties during like a regular match, but something to be noted here is that uh, our Wabba not told that boy with the uh. With the uh, tie score right there. Only thing was that Death Zone played much better than uh, Savory K. So. We're just waiting on. Alrighty, so. Now we are seeing the uh, next map. I'm like trying to look for what is this uh, next match. This next map. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So this is standard Nomad now. This is one of the longest maps here of the entire map pool that is not a tiebreaker map. It's uh, standard nomad, uh, Kuru, Kuki, Riki, Gaku, Shoju no Shonen no Uta by Hana. It is about 4 minutes and 8 seconds long. This map will test on aim consistency. So, yes, so aim consistency will be the key here as, um, yeah, so it's going to be um, interesting to see how um, how all four of these players will do. All four players from the two previous standard uh, maps being played are coming back in. So far, with the uh, standard picks, it is 2-0. Supreme Suprema Corte de Justicia and um but also no Tatsujin is capable of holding on to their own but it will but it need it is solely being relied on Death Zone. I think if there's a player you need to watch as to whether or not if, uh, how this match will go, it's Death Zone. And so far, uh, so far, uh, Zavarin came with the uh, early break right here. Now this is a really long map, so this break almost wouldn't matter. You just have to play consistently, and um, you should be fine. But as for Zavarin K, that would be the case as I just, uh, just not too long. Had his second break, and so far num five one one nine with the uh, hundred percent accuracy right here. Zavri K with the uh, better break, unfortunately. Death Zone is doing really well. I, I just said I just had to curse them. <laughs> Death Zone with the uh, break. Unfortunately, <laughs> and yes, that's just not looking. I mean, despite this, uh, that's what had a, had a pretty good start right there, though. So, and if the if Zavri K can build combo and Death Zone just keeps missing, like Zavri K at the start, I believe it's a matter of time before Supreme Quartet the Justicia will take back their lead. But if I were to be a guy, and oh no, both players miss, but both players miss, have been missing at the same time. So Osuno Tatsuji will be holding on to that lead for a bit longer. And oh, another break from Zavri K. And another break for, um, Death Zone as well. Um, yes, yeah, so another break for uh, Death Zone and Savory K. It's really just being 
I really believe that it's mostly being tested upon like these two, these other two players in general right now. Um, Maverick and Devson. Devson, um, after just struggling, is tr is just performing a lot better, um, compared to the uh, the hidden map that we seen earlier. But that lead is almost. I mean. It's just kind of getting really, really, really close right here. Um, you have num five one one nine, and all break, and all breaks from num five one one nine and Pundice at the same time. So now it's Zavri K holding that uh the highest combo so far. Oh no, that's not what I say. That Zavri K with the uh, break. So, but because of this, um, and oh, Puntus with another break as well, and the 5119 with the break, that's the with the break right there. The lead that has been uh, officially being taken again by Supreme Contenta Justicia. Dumb 5119, 5119 is just struggling right now. Zavri came with the other break. This is just only going to build up that combo for Puntus, and that's. That's not what you. That's not what you want in this situation right here. Oh my goodness! And another break from Death Zone. There, also the Tatsuji was doing really, really well right until that. Uh, that uh, that the until the spinner, and because of that. Team of Suprema Cortez and Justicia will take the win right here. Osuno Tatsujin will have to win two straight maps if they want to go into tiebreaker. But oh my goodness, that was a really, really interesting match. And you can just kind of feel it for Osuno Tatsujin as well. They gotta have to go through another map. This is the third straight win for Suprema Contagia Justicia when it comes to the, uh, the standard map pool here. There's only one more map left on... Wait, no. I'm wrong. All of the maps in um, standard have been used. Uh, standard D double time has been... Um, Man, so now it's just um, so we have one more of uh, catch map. I don't believe a catch map has been banned. We also have Mania Hybrid still yet to be played, and so far, four of the Ataiko uh, maps have been untouched. So, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, so Death Zone, Death Zone is now trying to communicate, probably is communicating with the team as to what map they want to do. If they want to just throw this match, they'll probably pick a map that they just want to choose just to finish this match. But unless if they want to, if they still believe they want to, they have, they are still capable of winning, they're gonna have to choose wisely because so far, the only maps that they're good at is type is uh, catch the beat, and meanwhile they are 0-2 on the mania picks, and so far, and oh, we're in, so. Now we're going with Mania Hybrid. And this is the last um, map for Mania. So regardless of whether or not Osuno Tatsujin wins or not, no, there will be no more Mania picks because SV has been bad. So 
Flutes and the Judy will be coming back in as being like uh, really good media players. Is it me or has all Savory K also been playing in like every uh, map so far? Because I could have sworn he have. I could have swore he did play in one map so far, unless I'm wrong and he actually played in every map just like Death Zone. Uh, but yeah, so. Zavri K has just been playing in most of the uh, maps, as well as, uh. Death Zone. What's surprising is that, um, Zavri K is more so, uh, is a Taiko main. But yet, despite this, um, Zavri K is just doing really, really, really well on, on these picks, on these, um, picks that are not Taiko. Zavri K is just holding on to his own. And then again, looking at his ranks, he he is a four-digit uh, player in catch and mania as well. So and he has been holding on to his own in um in these standard picks as well. So now we are getting into mania hybrid. So mania hybrid, it's uh, it's Ellen a bit Ellen oriented, but it has trills and bursts. Um, someone in the uh, chat when I was commentating the uh, I Die Quit the Spells vs. Corona 2, someone thought that the trills are a lot more harder than the uh, L long notes. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> I feel like a win here is just what Osuno Tatsujin really needs right now. But even then, they still got to go through another map if they want to have any chance of going through a tiebreaker. But and if possible, we will be seeing a, t a Tycho map. That's so funny. Zavri came with the uh, early break right there. Death Zone with another break. And oh, another break for Death Zone. This is an... Oh no, now we're really starting to see the end of Osuno Tatsujin's um, run. I mean, they still have the losers um, bracket. They're still, they still are going to be moving down to the losers bracket, so they're not out of the tournament just yet, but they are going to have to play for two matches if they want to go through, if they want to finish on the podium. Death Zone is just struggling. Uh, we're just seeing breaks from Death Zone, unfortunately. But you got to give kudos to Death Zone for playing in every map. Like, that, I mean, even though it's only catch, media, and standard, uh, Death Zone has been holding on to his own, but, but it was also unfortunate that the mistakes that Death Zone made also cap, also was Suprema Quartet Ninja Sissia's um, big advantage as to how they were able to um, win on this match. Not to like downgrade their performances or anything, but yeah, that will be it. That will be it. Unfortunately, this will mean the Osuno Tatsujin will be moving down. That's to Suprema Quartet Ninja Sissia. They have won this match. And they will be the second team to be finishing on the podium. My goodness. So, first off, uh, congratulations to Suprema Quartet. Just this year, you guys have been playing very well. You guys will be finishing on the uh, podium regardless. As to who wins on the winners finals against Daicho, so for Team Suprema Quartet de Justicia, Zavri K, Plutes, uh, Zavri K, Plutes, uh, Pundais, and Atoll's fanboy, congratulations on your guys' win, you guys absolutely deserved it. Uh, uh, for Osuno Tatsujin, you're still in this tournament. Unfortunately, this will mean that you will be facing um, Team Blue in the uh, losers 
finals. And if you are able to win, you're going to either play the winner of the uh, figure the Rusty Company and the uh, winner of Play Genshin or Moyai. So yeah, that's that's a pretty um, interesting um, match we saw here. Um, no Tycho map was being played. That's um, pretty interesting to see right here. Um, but regardless, that will be it for this match. This is the finals winners bracket match. I don't know if the match between my eye and play Genshin have happened, but um, regardless, that will be it. First off, I just want to say thank you guys for showing up to this uh, stream. You guys have been a great audience. Um, second, I just want to say uh, thank you for Chimchar for refereeing this match. Uh, I also want to say um, thank you for Sangen Shoku for the um, for being able to um, to stream this match as well. Um, the map pool showcase for the, uh, for the finals bracket will be revealed, I believe, tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to, if that's true or not, but I was, but I've heard it will be, the map pool will be available tomorrow at around, in a, less than 24 hours from now, if that's going to happen. So please look forward to the uh, finals map pool if you are still playing or if you want if you are curious to see what players will have to go through in four modes i am pork is great and i will see you guys on the next match that i will be commentating and oh yeah uh from Sagan Shoku, it's going to be at 15 utc tomorrow for the uh finals map pool so 15 utc tomorrow for the uh, finals map pool please show up we need more viewers after all so we need to get this so we can get this channel to be big i am pork is great and i will see you guys on the next match i will be commenting because i have to wake up at four in the morning if i want to do the if i want to do the uh, map pool showcase so until then, I will see you guys on the next patch that hopefully I can commentate on. If not, no worries. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Peace!